Assalamu alaikum. Is breeding and selling cats halal? I know a hadith literal text against it. Was wondering if there are other texts that permits it in certain conditions. Wa alaikum assalam rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The summarized answer is that there's difference of opinion among the fuqaha of past and of present. The majority of the fuqaha held the view that selling cats, buying cats, is something which is uh, permissible. And it isn't haram. And they say at best it's makruh karah tanzi. It's just disliked. And the reason, uh, well, we'll get into the reasons why. Uh, breeding is one thing, but let's do it selling. As far as a person just having cats and making them and breeding them, giving them as gifts, there's nothing wrong with that. L lending them to people is nothing wrong with that. That's not an issue of, of, of khilaf, but the concept is selling and buying them. Most of the fuqah hold the view that it is permissible. And there are some of the ulama, such as one of the uh, riwayah, yani is one of the times that Imam Ahmed was asked about the situation, he said it's haram. Other times he said it was permissible, but sometimes he said it was haram. Also, it's the view of the fuqaha of Ahl al-Zahir, the Zahiri school of thought. And it's also the view of Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu from the Sahaba. Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah mentions in Zad al uh, Ibn Qayyim he mentions, we won't get into the sources in the books. Ibn Qayyim mentions that uh, this uh, view was held by Mujahid, uh, Tawus, and others from the Salaf al Salih. Alright, okay, with regards to uh, the impermissibility of buying and selling cats. Alright, so why do some ulama say it's permissible and others say that it's haram, even though there's a hadith, literal text? That's the hadith of Jabir ibn Abdullah in Sahih Muslim. In which he says, Naha an Nabiu alayhi salatu salam an thamin al kalbi wa sin nur. Okay, ma qila fi hadihi al riwaya. The riwaya states that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbade the Prophet of dogs and felines. He forbade the, the, huh, the Prophet of dogs and of cats. So therefore, uh, canine, feline, etc. So therefore, are there other hadiths that may take it away from the asl, the naha, nahi? It's a prohibition, it shouldn't be haram. Why are they differing? I've never read other hadith which allow it and take it from haram to makruh. I've never read those other hadith. The ulama who say that it's permissible, uh, there are two main views or two main ways that they deal with the hadith that clearly prohibits it. All right, and everybody stay buckled down. I'm not, you know, saying this is my opinion, my view. I'm just telling you what it is. First and foremost, they say, that the reason why it's not haram, they say it's something that it goes against basic customs. And why would you sell someone a cat? Why not give them a cat? Lend them a cat? Go find a cat? Who sells a cat? Obviously, uh, this view, not only is it yani, weak, using the, the mind and the intellect, that clearly goes against the text. But that's from a different time and a different era. And in the United States, you have some cats that cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Cats that have been fed and the necessary shots and taken care of from day one. Special, rare, exotic breeds, Siamese cat, Egyptian, this, long hair, cat that, so on and so forth. All types of, the lineage, the pedigree of cat, just like dogs. So there are some cats that are extremely expensive that are not going to be given out as gifts. Obviously, the argument comes, should a Muslim have a cat that's that expensive? Etc. But this is a reality, all right? Me, myself, once I had uh, a cat. Um, she was, uh, I believe, she was half Siamese and I believe half Tabby, all right? The cat, subhanAllah, was beautiful. Those brothers and sisters who saw the cat, they know the cat was beautiful. And wallahi, I found the cat on the street. One night, I was in Philadelphia. At the time, I was living in Camden, New Jersey. I found the cat on the street. I asked if it was anyone's cat. They said, no, I put it in a box. We drove to New Jersey. I took her home. I washed her up, cleaned her up. The cat was beautiful. And she gave beautiful, uh, she gave two beautiful litters twice. She had made it with another cat, a normal American, you know, short hair or whatever, a tabby type cat. And the kittens that came from both litters, didn't, they looked nothing like the father. And they looked like her, but even more... Siamese, even more exotic, and the cats were amazingly beautiful. Wallahi. And I gave the kittens away. So the point I'm trying to get to is, uh, that's one situation. 
to find a really, really nice cat, a strong cat, a healthy cat, clean cat, only Allah knows. Even when you want to, when you wish to adopt a cat, you still have to pay some type of fee. Because they took care of the cat, the shots, they put the little chip beside the cat if the cat gets lost, etc. Going to adopt a cat is like adopting a child. There's a whole process behind it. So just expecting anyone or someone to just give away a cat out of the kindness of their heart. That's a good, clean cat. It's not that simple. Some people, yes, who have a, they have a litter in their homes, but it's not that easy, especially with diseases. And say it's not that easy. All right. Secondly is not all of those will have, but some of them, they hold a view that that hadith is not my opinion. It's not my view. I'm not saying anything about my view, what is or what isn't my view. I'm telling you, it's not from me. They say that the hadith is lacking authenticity. It lacks authenticity and it's not sahih. So those are the two main reasons why those ulama hold the view that it's not haram. Alright? And those who hold the view that it's haram, obviously, first and foremost, they say that the hadith is sahih. It's in sahih Muslim. Secondly, they say that uh, there is no karaha tanzi, khilaf al-awla, muru'a. It goes against chivalry and character. No, naha. The Prophet forbade. Everybody understand this? So therefore, to keep things simple and easy, you should avoid buying or selling a cat. If you took the view of the majority of the fuqaha, if you blindly followed them, or if you were mujtahid and that's what your research led you to, you felt the hadith was da'if, you felt kada, breed the cat, sell the cat. If you're confused, if you're unsure, avoid it and take the view which is safest. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely knows best.